brand new six sense glitch or drop shot bait. There we go. Wacky rig in the divine shake you weren't through all this brush. Gotta love that. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're out on the water. We're gonna do a little bit of fishing today. Haven't been out to this lake in months. Uh, super clear water, a lot of brush and stuff down in the water. Probably gonna be doing some finesse fishing, maybe a little cranking. Just gotta figure out what stage these fish are in. Are they post-spawn, are they spawning? Are they pre-spawn at all? Are they deep, are they shallow? We got a lot of things to figure out. I got a tournament coming up here at one of my local lakes next weekend and I uh, just gotta try to figure something out. I'm only gonna probably get today to try to practice, nothing probably next week. Uh, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get out here next Saturday before the tournament, but I'm not exactly sure at this point. But I'm looking forward to fishing. Hopefully I can put a good video together, get some nice fish catches for you guys, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna try some different things and hopefully put some fish in the boat. Um, guys, if you guys have not gotten some water lens sunglasses yet, you are missing out, guys. I'm serious, I'm, I'm gonna keep harping on this until every one of you guys gets a pair of sunglasses because I'm telling you, these things are legit. They're gonna help you see into the water. They're gonna help you see grass lines, see brush piles. They're gonna help you see rock piles. It can help you see into the water, see fish. If you can see all that stuff, it's gonna help you catch more fish. So head over to waterlingco.com, use my discount code LUNA15. It's gonna save you 15% off. And I think anything over 50 or $75 is gonna get you free shipping at all. So if you buy a pair of sunglasses, you're gonna get free shipping and you're gonna be able to get 15% off using my code LUNA15. So head over there, waterlingco.com, use my code LUNA15. All right guys, let's hammer down. Let's go to our first spot and let's try to catch some fish out here. There we go. Ah, oh, it came off. Dang it. Well, that's a bummer. I just got bit. I don't think it was very big, but switched over to a, a Nico rig. I got a 132nd ounce weight in there. Um, little hook, weedless hook with a six cents divine shaky worm in the watermelon candy color. This clear water out here, I think that watermelon candy will be good. And literally, I think it was like my first or second cast is when I got bit on that thing. And um, so far it's looking promising, I guess, but hopefully we can actually get them hooked in the future. There we go. There we go, a little one. Uh, it actually feels decent. Not exactly sure, but pulling. It's coming up. Coming up. Oh, it's a decent one. Decent one. Stay on, fish. Stay on there. Little two pounder or something. Not a giant, but we'll take you. We'll take you. There we go. There we go. Little guy, fought pretty good though for being for being little. Caught this one on the uh, brand new Six Sense Glitch, little drop shot bait, right up onto the little rocky point over there. Fish got him. This Six Sense Glitch drop shot bait is not available on the market right now. It came in the six sack, the subscription sack that Six Sense offers. Um, if you want to have a chance at getting some of these baits before they become available to the masses, I would uh, recommend you guys sign up for the subscription sack. I'll leave a link for it down in the description of today's video. But if you want to save 10 bucks off your first month, use code Luna Super Six. That's going to help you to save 10 bucks off your first month, and you're going to have a chance to get brand new baits that aren't even out on the market like this six cent glitch that I just caught that fish on. There we go, little one. Another one on the glitch. Jumping. Fighting good. This guy's fighting good. Come on, buddy. I'm going to put you back, buddy. I don't know what kind of pound test I got on here, but I don't want this guy to come off. 
The video's not as good if he comes off. There we go, choked that guy. Little one. Little pound and a half, two pounder. Not a giant. Oh, he's bleeding. Bleeding. Let's see if we can get the hook out. Well guys, that's enough with the glitch. I've caught a couple fish, got another bite on it. I'm just kind of covering some water, going through these different little cuts and just kind of pitching it up close to the bank and uh, catching some of those, those buck bass. And I got to figure out how to catch some of those females. I don't know if it's pre-spawn, post-spawn. If they're spawning, there's like an algae bloom going on. So it makes it really hard to see the bottom. Usually the water's super clear here. And a lot of times when when you're at really clear water fisheries, the fish will spawn a little bit deeper than they would in a lot of other places. So I don't really know what stage these fish are in. I don't see a lot of fry, which makes me think that the full on spawn hasn't quite happened yet. So we might have some pre-spawners that um, hopefully I can maybe fish a little bit deeper, catch some of them. I'm gonna switch over to a Jika rig. I'm gonna put um, the Divine Shaky Worm and then also the Hogwalla. See if I can't get a bigger bite fishing a little bit outside, maybe in like 20 foot, 15 foot, something like that. Hopefully get a little bit bigger of a bite. No wind or anything like that. So I don't really know that the uh, reaction stuff is really gonna be a factor. So I'm gonna switch over, start doing something like that. Hopefully get a bigger bite. test on here 72 sensory rod these things are super sensitive it's a better one it's a better one divine shaky worm on the old jika rig for some reason this bait seems to do good out at this lake i don't know what it is about it comes through the brush really well good little fish well guys, it's kind of been a slow grind out here today. I've gotten a few bites, lost a couple fish, broke one off, but uh, overall it's been a little tough. I thought you'd be able to just kind of bounce around and get bit and catch some small ones here and there pretty regularly, but it's a little bit tougher than I was expecting, but there's still fish to be caught for sure. Um, I'm hoping that Jika rig is pointing me in the right direction. The one bite that I got to the boat was a little bit better than those drop shot fish that I caught. So hopefully I can go around and uh, maybe get a couple more bites to clue me in and maybe catch a little bit better quality a little bit deeper. Uh, I might just have some of those smaller males up shallow and those females sitting down a little bit deeper. So hopefully I can go around and uh, get clued in a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Little one, switched over to the prawn just to mix it up. And uh, I didn't fish it very long and got bit. That's not what we're after, but at least we got a bite. Oh, there's one. There we go. Spinnerbait fish. There we go. The old dual mold spinnerbait. Gotta love that. I love throwing a spinnerbait. Definitely love that guy. That didn't take long at all. Not a giant, but you know what? We got one in the boat. Guys, if you think back and you've been following my content for a long time, you'll know that I went through a phase right through a spinnerbait a lot. Um, the brush, there was tons of brush in the water at my local lakes. Um, similar to like what we have right now at this lake, the fish were shallow. You could get this thing into that brush, just come through the brush really, really good. And that's exactly what happened with that last fish as I was coming through a brush pile and that fish just hammered it coming through that brush pile. And uh, I'd love to be able to throw a spinnerbait uh, next week out here, especially in the morning if the wind blows, something like that. Just a great way to cover water, and I have caught some good fish doing it here as well.
There we go. There we go. Another spinnerbait fish. Definitely gonna be throwing this next week. It's a little one, but but I have a feeling that I could probably catch a good one doing it. Little guy, but there's gonna be big ones that eat this thing, I promise. There we go. There we go. That might be a better one. Oh! Guys, that one smoked it. I don't know how it didn't get hooked. But this little seam right here, once the ripple on the water came, and this little bit of stain on the water, this spinnerbait deal is, I think, going to be pretty good. If the water clarity stays the same, we have a little bit of wind maybe next weekend. I think we could uh, do some damage with this thing, hopefully. There we go. There we go. There we go. Unfortunately, they're not getting bigger. I do have confidence in this thing that if you can get this many bites, eventually you're gonna run into a big one. Obviously, you don't know that, but with my experience at this lake, I definitely think that a big one will eat this. I just gotta figure out if I gotta fish a little bit deeper or if it's just a timing thing or what, but I do like the fact that I can get bites on this spinnerbait. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Spinnerbait's getting them good. I think we're starting off with the spinnerbait next week in the morning because it's like four o'clock, 4.30 in the afternoon right now. And uh, they're definitely eating it with this wind. It just takes a little bit of ripple, guys, and it definitely makes a difference. If there's no ripple, there's no wind, they don't eat it. But as soon as there's a little bit of ripple, as soon as there's a little bit of wind, they chomp it. And uh, I'm gonna put that down for now. I think I've got like five or so on the, on the spinnerbait. So hopefully tomorrow, or not tomorrow morning, but next week in the morning, they'll eat that spinnerbait. Similar conditions, lower light. I think it could be a good player and I might even get a big one in the morning, which will be what I'm hoping for. But so far, pretty fun day out here on the water. Well guys, we've got time for about one more spot before we gotta get out of here. Um, I'm fishing longer than I was planning on it, but it's been pretty fun actually. It was a little bit of a grind and then once I started kind of figuring something out and then Obviously the lower light, the day started getting towards the evening and everything like that and the bite started picking up a little bit. But I put that spinnerbait down because I just, there's no reason to keep throwing it. Um, I'm gonna be throwing it next week, trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out now what else I can do. Um, if that spinnerbait bite dies, I try to swim jig and I got some short bites, but I just think they need that vibration. I think they like that vibration, um, but that's a great way to come through. It's not getting too much of the slimy moss. Um, the fishing definitely got better when the water cleared up because in the other area there was a little bit more of this algae bloom stuff going on and then more main lake stuff is a little bit cleaner and uh, that's when I started getting bit too. There we go. Nico Riggin, divine shaky worm. Oh, it's a good one too. Good one too. Oh yeah, three pounder. Stay on fish, I'm gonna put you back. There we go. Two and a half, three pounds, not bad. Not bad. Oh, he's got crawdad tentacles in there I think yeah 
Crowd had tentacles in there. Not bad. Wacky rigging the divine shaky worm through all this brush. Gotta love that. Well guys, I think for next week, it's just gonna boil down to trying to get a lot of bites. I think the fish are pretty scattered right now. You have some decent fish up shallow somewhere. You have some decent fish probably out deep and you got some fish just kind of cruising. Um, I don't really know exactly how to dial everything in. Um, hopefully I can get out here next week on Saturday or something and just try to dial some things in a little bit more. But um, if I don't, I feel like I can at least come out here and catch some fish and then hopefully that spinner bait will get me a, a good bite in the morning. And then maybe I can just pick off another decent bite or two throughout the day. Probably gonna take around, I'm guessing around 15 pounds to uh, win the thing. Um, we did not have anything close to 15 pounds today, but um, hadn't been out here in a couple couple months probably. So just trying to figure out something to come and do for the tournament next weekend. And uh, I think that spinnerbait bite should stay, should stay good. Um, Hopefully, hopefully we have a little bit of wind in the morning along with that low light and I think it, it could be a major player. Well guys, not a bad day overall. Caught a bunch of fish, uh, kind of scattered around. We had a couple on the Nico rig, a couple on the drop shot, some spinnerbait fish. And I think, I think that's about it. I can't remember exactly, but not a bad day overall, especially since I hadn't been out here in about two weeks, or not two weeks, like two months, maybe longer. Um, got a tournament out here next week, so we'll see how everything goes. I'm hoping that that spinnerbait bite stays because that's just a fun way to catch them, and uh, you can catch big ones doing that too. So we'll see what happens next week. Hopefully I can get out on Saturday. If not, we're just going full send um, into the tournament one day of practice, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. See ya!